YouTube Nation, welcome back for yet another Top 10, but it's that time of the year. It's time for the Top 10 Things I've Bought. These are the Top 10 Comic Books I have purchased in 2020. Amazing Spider-Man number 12 or 813 for those of you all. This is just an awesome cover. Got it graded just because of how good it looked on a shelf. I paid $35. A very off-brand, but Power Lords number one. I loved the toys as a kid. I saw this on a whatnot auction, decided to pick it up because, hey, you never know if they'll come back, and I liked the toys as a kid. I paid $25. All right, this one was mine as a kid. I never realized it was a second printing until I got it back from CGC. It's a 5.0. I didn't press it. I didn't clean it because I read it as a kid. I paid $0.75. Cents, minus the CGC cents. One of my favorite, Shatterstar, his first appearance in the New Mutants 100. It's a 9.0. I loved this kind of art. I grew up with it. I paid $45. Mask, number one. Why not? It was one of my favorite toys as a kid. I never read the comics as, uh, as a kid. Didn't even know they existed. But I saw it on a Whatnot auction. I paid $50. X-Men, number 282, the first official appearance of Bishop. I, you know what? Saw it at a convention. They had a price on it. I offered 40 They took it. X-Factor, number 6, the first appearance of Apocalypse. Was the first book as a child I ever kind of realized, like, first appearances. It was kind of a cool thing for me. I paid $80. Never knew this book existed. Transformers, the movie adaptation number one from the comic books. I thought this was cool. I loved the cover. It kind of reminded me of the movie. I paid $45. One of my favorites. Very excited to add Nova number one, the man who called Nova, to my collection. It's in a decent grade. I'm not here to make money on it. I just want to display it. I paid $75. And number one, Daredevil number 131, the first appearance of the Bullseye. Just a cool copy. Uh, Daredevil is something that started to grow on me, so I picked this up as my first one. I paid $65. All right, those are the 10 comic books that I bought that were CGC graded. Nothing really big, but I'm a collector of things I like, not for value or anything, and those are 10 books that were pretty cool. I did get some unslabbed comic books that are very interesting to me, and I just wanted to share them kind of at the end of the video. These are in no particular order. Uh, we're just going to kind of go through them. So I got this. This is the House of Secrets number 92 Red Eye Foil variant. Uh, this is number 964 out of 1,000. It doesn't do it justice of what that looks like, of how good of a comic book that is. Uh, I am going to get this group. I, I would like to get CGC graded at some point. Um, got this one from uh, Comic Tom 101. It's just the green Batman foil, the purple haha. -ha. I, I, just, I just think that is a cool, cool looking cover. Because I'm a wrestling fan, I got Ric Flair. I just think that's cool. I think it'll look cool. Uh, I think it'll look cool graded. I would also like to get it signed. I think that would be cool to have. I mean, Ric Flair has signed a lot of stuff. To have Ric Flair sign a comic book, have it graded, would be uh, pretty pretty top on. This is an interesting one because this was found at a yard sale this year, and it's Roger Rabbit number one and Roger Rabbit. I think it's number two, right? Yeah, number two. So. I would like to actually get both of those graded. I like Roger Rabbit. Roger Rabbit was a good, uh, a fun movie, something I liked. It's got, it's 
they look a lot better than what they are. And this one is a really cool because I'm an Usagi Ojimbo fan. I got uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Usagi Ojimbo number two signed by Kevin Eastman. Got the COA on the back. And it's just, it's got Usagi. It's got some turtles fighting in that style of Sans Sakai. I, this one I cannot wait to get graded. I know Eastman signs a lot, but it'll look good on my Usagi shelf that's up there. That's all right. Hope everybody enjoyed this. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing if you like this kind of stuff. And let's see what 2024 holds. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you all thought. Uh, we're on Instagram. Podcast channel. You can shoot me a picture of what you thought. Hope to see it. 